just basically. So today's an unusual day. We are going to go and experience a cold plunge by jumping into a lake. I think it's gonna be about eight degrees. I don't know, but it's cold. I've got Nicola Conlon, who is a longevity expert, and I thought it would be funny <laughs> <laughs> and interesting. We are on our way to a lake. It is January. It is, I think, about maybe four or five degrees today. And we're gonna get in the lake <laughs> because it's actually good for longevity. And I'm gonna try and explain while we're in the lake what it's actually doing to our bodies. So hopefully I can get that done within about three minutes because I think that's all we're gonna last. I wonder what the mortali mortality rate is. Of, <laughs> of jumping in the lake? <laughs> yeah, people do. Jump in a lake and jump. <laughs> You yeah. both look so happy. Aww. <laughs> oh no, it's a cordon off. Is that not an option? Hey, yeah. <laughs> it is it's possible. Okay, that's fine. If Nicola's up for it, then oh, she's, oh, she's oh, the guest of honor. Oh, she just have to roll with it. Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> Can we film this illegal stuff? <laughs> yes, yes, let's film it all. <laughs> This place is, it's magnificent. <laughs> Come on then, Tim. Say, so, say something uh, to make me feel better. <laughs> this is really good for you, Nicola. It's good on all, for, all sorts of, for all sorts of reasons, but you know the sciencey ones. All I can say is when we finish, you'll be, you'll be glad we did it. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be glad once we've done it. But right now this extremely cold lake doesn't look that appealing, but we're just going to think about the benefits that it's going to have for our health, yep. uh, for our longevity, for our cells. Tell me a little bit about what happens to your body in the moments that you go in, because there's this enormous release of stress hormones, basically. Yeah, so, so when you go into cold, whether that's cold water, cryotherapy, your body starts rele releasing these, these cold shock proteins. And these are little signaling factors in our body, which are basically telling the body that, oh my goodness, we need to deal with this stress. Something has happened. We need to go into survival mode and it starts switching on lots of different signaling pathways in the body that help your body to survive that period of stress. Do you actually have clothes under that? <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so tell me exactly what is happening in your body that's supposed to be good for you while you're in survival mode. The first thing that we know happens is your body actually reduces inflammation. So this is known to be a benefit of, of cryotherapy. Obviously, inflammation is a leading cause of aging. It's a leading cause of cellular damage. So cryotherapy has been found to actually reduce levels of this chronic inflammation in the body. So that's one benefit. The second thing is that you're... Is that okay? Or is that I know, too... I'm just laughing at all them walking towards you doing it. Do you want to know about cryo? Because you get a lot of it. <laughs> Another thing that happens when you are exposed to the cold is that your body starts to try and produce more energy. So it does this in a couple of ways. It will start shivering. So your muscles will literally start shaking to try and increase the amount of heat in your body. It will start shifting blood flow to the core of your body to try and support the internal organs. And now this is good because they're getting perfused with more blood, more oxygen. The other thing that happens is that your, and this is over more long term, is that your body starts to increase the number of mitochondria that it has because it wants to create energy more efficiently. And it does this by sort of switching the type of fat that we have in our bodies. So there's, there's two types of fat. You have white fat, which is kind of like the blubbery fat that you know you often don't want to see. But you've also got brown fat, which is more deep fat. And this is beneficial fat because it's full of mitochondria and this sort of surrounds our, like inside of ourselves and around our organs. This is important because as you get older, you seem to have less brown fat, you've got less mitochondria and your metabolism starts to go down. So by doing something like cold therapy regular on a regular basis, you can increase the amount of brown fat, improve your metabolism and just generally make your body more metabolically resilient. How often do you need to jump into a cold plunge in order to get this benefit? So there was a study done showing that around 11 minutes per week um, of cold exposure, so you know, like cold shock was beneficial, but this could be broken down in uh, like a couple of three minute sessions. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the sort of general consensus is you want to be looking at around three minutes and this is like uncomfortable cold. This is, you know, really feeling like your body is 
reacting to it it's not just um you know put the shower on lukewarm this is yeah. like when we're talking about cold shock it's a shock do you think this lake is cold enough for us i think this lake is gonna give us a cold shock <laughs> for sure because this is january <laughs> are you regretting it are you regretting that i said yes i've never had the willpower to do it at this time of the year but now i've gathered all these people around we're gonna do it <laughs> peer pressure <laughs> let's do it Right. Are we ready? So the ducks think that we're going to feed them and we're going to suddenly plow on through them. Okay, you ready? <laughs> right. Go, don't think, just do, don't think, just do. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> right! <laughs> Yes, that's painfully cool. Ah, oh, my balls! <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're starting. Breathe. <sighs> right, you ready, Tim? Oh, so ask me. Ask, ask me what's happening. Right. right. What is going on with my body? <laughs> <laughs> right. So what we're experiencing right now is extreme cold therapy shock. So what is happening is there are cold shock proteins that are going through our bodies right now, and they're telling our body that this is not right and this could be dangerous. So our bodies need to try and survive the period of stress. So these cold shock proteins, they start by reducing inflammation in the body. They're starting to divert the uh, blood flow away from our, our fingers, our extremities, to our internal organs to survive. This means you get a lot more oxygen to your organs. I am listening, honestly. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> He's listening. <laughs> Silently dying. No, your body is kicking in action stations to make sure we survive this. And really, the, the core benefit when we're looking at longevity is actually what this is doing to our mitochondria. So it is activating these mitochondria to produce more energy, to produce more heat. It is actually converting the type of fat that we have in our body. So you've got white fat, which is like the blubbery fat that you get around your hips and your stomach that you don't want. And it will be starting to convert it into brown fat. And brown fat is much more beneficial. It's got a lot of mitochondria in it. And these mitochondria are much more energy efficient. They mean that we have... Um, a lot better metabolism in our body um, and generally can be like more metabolically flexible, which is always good as you get older. I think you deserve the Nobel Prize <laughs> in lecturing. <laughs> I have never lectured science in this um, yeah. extreme state. I but... you, I've, I've gone into an interesting stage. Of, <laughs> it, it went from just unbelievable cold to then pain to now like a kind of an okay kind of tingling <laughs> that kind of could mean that we're getting hypothermia <laughs> so um studies have shown that really to get the benefit out of this you want to be aiming for around 11 minutes of uncomfortable cold a week i'm pretty sure you'll agree that this is uncomfortable cold although i'm massively trying to hold it together here <laughs> um but this can be split into you know we don't have to stay in here for 11 minutes certainly not in january but around three minutes um a couple of times a week to get that exposure and for anyone who's thinking about trying this, it's, def it's definitely not that bad beyond the first minute. It's, like I feel it's like getting you... in, you've just got to go for it. Um, but yeah, you can really train yourself. I find that you can get into quite a meditative state if you um, control your breathing, maybe do some breathing exercises uh, while you, you, you know, you're actually doing it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's getting over that initial shock. The other thing is that not to really put your head under the water in cold water, because that can be quite dangerous because it can activate a reflex called the diving reflex, which can cause us to gasp, hyperventilate um, and really panic. So um, it's just, you know, up to where we are, our shoulders is, is more than enough. Or you can come in a lake. I mean, this is a, this is a nice lake, but you could do like cryotherapy in a cryo chamber. Um, you can get cold plunge pools, put them in your garden, your neighbor will definitely think we've lost the plot i mean anyone watching this probably thinks we've lost the plot but it is very good um if you can do this um it's also been shown to alter the composition of lipids in the blood so actually reduce um bad uh, lipids um the, the low density lipids and increase uh, the good fats in our body do you think we've done enough? <laughs> honestly, right. I, I honestly think you're formidable. I can't believe how well you did that. Are we done? Because <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? My life flashing before my eyes. Now this is how we're going to have jelly legs coming out. Oh. Do you know what? At least there were no rocks. That's the worst bit. Oh. <laughs> towel, Why are you, where are you going with the towel? <laughs> <laughs> 
but I feel like I should. I should no, do you it. see my legs are blue. <laughs> like my, you it's like to be wet. Yeah, we need to like get, cool. quickly yeah. get dry. Nicholas is freaking just lecturing like a beast. Like, I honestly, my I, my head was just all over the place. I couldn't believe what was going on, and then she's like, right. <laughs> And it was like as composed as ever. <laughs> no, I feel warmer than I did before I went in. Yeah, but that's uh, not a good sign. <laughs> Where's the sock? Where's the sock? My fingers aren't working. <laughs> well, good job, Tiffany. Yay! I think I'll remember that for the rest of my life. <laughs> my hands and feet just do not work afterwards. <laughs> 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 